weren't wrong. You were wrong. We have won. Now you're going to have to deal with that. You're going to have to soak it in. And you're going to have Here's to... Here's how trading goes. First, you're going to lose all your money. So don't do it. Okay? You're going to lose all your money. It's like Las Vegas. Las Vegas is built on losers, not winners. People that leave with less money than they came with are what allow those giant buildings to exist. And so people, for some reason, they just don't think they're going to be a loser. They do. Because that's the odds. The odds are against you. And trading's the same way. You stare at your screen and try and steal money from a guy on the other side staring at his screen. And you guys are virtually staring at each other through the screen, tired, and tired of looking at charts. And you're girlfriend's yelling at you to get off the computer and you're sleep deprived because you're trying to steal that guy's money now that guy would give you his money and be happy that he gave it to you if you build a damn service or product or perform a service so you have an option to be productive and useful in this world instead of trying to steal other people's money that don't want you to have it now steal the right word maybe not but take by force right would he, would he prefer that when he lost his trade, he got to keep his money? Yes, he would. Now, who wins when you stare at that guy and he stares at you and you're both trying to take each other's money? Who wins? The middleman wins. Let's talk about who actually gets rich in crypto. Who actually gets rich in crypto? Founders. Exchanges. Holders. Traders. Wrecked. Annihilated. How, who do you think made the exchanges rich? Why do you think the exchange founders get to be worth over a billion dollars each? Because they're taking so much money from you traders. So every rich founder broke ass trader. Unless you're just selling spot. And then, you know, it's you, if you're just selling spot and making like a percent or two percent or whatever, you're not nuking people zero. But if you're in margin trading, you're new people at zero, so <clears throat> there's a better way. Trustless interest. You don't have to time the market. You can just sit and hold and be incentivized to sit and hold. Imagine if you had bought Bitcoin back when it was a dollar and were forced to hold through all the dips. But you'd be real happy at about ten thousand dollars now, wouldn't you? It would be a miracle. You'd almost pay for the privilege of being forced to hold, wouldn't you? <clears throat>